What up, this is July from Kickback Couture. Today I'm gonna show you how to set up collabs in your in your reason session or whatever. So um somebody already sent me melodies. So I'm going to drag those into my doll. But first thing I wanna check is the tempo. And he put the tempo down there for me, so it's 150.5. So I'm gonna change that before I even drag it in. One fifty point five. Cool. Now I'm just gonna drag these in there. Looks like we got two melodies with the uh, two half speed effects, and then um his tag. Gonna hit F seven and go to the sequencer. Drop that at the beginning. Now immediately you notice I set the tempo, but I still have some space at the end so usually what that is is silence at the beginning of the clips so zooming in there you see all this silence so i'm just going to grab the razor tool and cut about take it off snap and cut about here get rid of that zoom in some more see what i'm missing Looks like I can cut about that off. Grab my mouse tool again, put snap back on, zoom out. Whoops. Gonna move these back to the position. Gonna zoom out some more. And, uh, now they're closer to eight. So let's see what this sounds like looping. And that sounds pretty good. So uh, usually I don't really time stretch it, but we can see what it sounds like. For that reason, I don't time stretch it because there'll still be um, a silence at the end of the end of the clip. So I just pretty much just move it, and there you have it. So I didn't move it, but I changed the length of the clip without time stretching it. Now I have a perfect loop, and my tempo is right. So the next thing I do is um, either go in Key Finder and drag a melody in there, or I will open up Serato and I'll show you both of those ways just because. So right now I have Serato open and what I'm going to do is pick any melody and drag it in there, any melody but the tag of course. It says that the key is in F. Right here I have Key Finder. I'm going to drag the same melody in and run the batch analysis. Even though it isn't a batch, it's just one. One file. Run batch analysis. F. So that's a second way you can do it. Now another thing you could do, which is right in reason, which isn't always accurate, is double click on the track and it's going to be in slice edit mode. So come up here, click pitch edit. And it looks like my track is an F. So this is also a way to do it. If you feel like the key that the pitch editor gave you is inaccurate, you can always check in the two ways I show first, which is Key Finder and Serato. If you don't own Serato, get Key Finder. It is free. If you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you would like to see next. And it's all culture.